Hey guys, I'm coming at you today with an exciting new product. It's the Bavarian Demon Gyro. And if you haven't flown with a gyro before, this is going to revolutionize the way you fly. Uh, we're going to cover a few of the features and benefits, how to set up this gyro, which is super easy, and then show you some before and after videos of uh, playing with the gyro off versus it on in certain maneuvers, four-point rolls, knife edges, landings, and crosswinds and things like that. The Demon Gyro is available at RedWingRC.com and if you appreciate the videos that we do and the how-tos, uh, we ask that you help support us by purchasing with us and of course we also have great pricing so it's really a win-win as well as awesome customer service. When it comes to gyros, this is really going to be the only gyro that you want to buy and there's three major reasons. One is the ease of setup. Literally at the field in 15 minutes, you can plug in this gyro, turn it on and calibrate, and be flying. There's no other gyro on the market that is so easy to set up and so accurate. The second thing is that it's extremely precise and stable. It's German engineered and designed, and you're going to feel it in the way it flies, the way it locks in, and it's got a lot of customizing you can do if you hook it up to a computer with a USB cable and do some programming. But really, it's so easy to use, you don't need to do that unless you have a few specific requirements that you want to do, like mounting it sideways or at an awkward angle, or change some of the subtle features. The third reason is it's gas compatible. Uh, a lot of gyros, there's, there's a few other gyros on the market, and I don't know of any of them that can handle the vibrations as well as this little gyro does. At the same time, it's small enough and light enough that you can put the exact same gyro in a foamy plane and it functions perfectly. So it's completely adaptable and compatible with any plane that you're going to fly. Now that you know why the Demon Gyro is really the only good choice out there, um, why should you consider a gyro at all? Well, there's a few really good reasons. One is you'll notice that it makes all your maneuvers silky smooth. In the videos that we're going to show you of knife edges, four-point rolls, inverted flight, everything, it just cleans up your flight. It also, one really cool aspect is that it wants to level you out. So when you exit a maneuver, an aggressive maneuver, if you've ever exited and not really known where you're at, the wing kind of catches you and, and knocks a wing, puts it in an awkward angle, it's not going to do that. As soon as you let go of the sticks, it's going to want to stick right where it was last at. So if you, if you come out of, a, um, out of a maneuver with your wing down and that wind hits, hits the wing and wants to push it over and inverted, it's not going to. It's going to fight it and keep flying exactly like you left the maneuver. You're going to be very comfortable exiting maneuvers. The second is just more a uh, really fun feature to kind of show off. It actually has a heading hold, a hold mode where you can lock it in a hover and literally could set down your transmitter and just watch your plane, which is pretty cool. But the third the reason that I see is landings. If you've ever landed in a, in a strong crosswind, you'll know that this gyro could literally save your plane. When you see the videos that we show you coming in a crosswind, landing with it on and with it off, if you've ever flown a difficult plane to land, uh, some warbirds and things like that, you'll know that this could literally save your plane and it makes your landings look silky smooth every time. It's pretty amazing. So let's go ahead and set it up in this plane. You'll see just how easy it is.